What's up, YouTube? You probably don't know me, but um, I go by Cleveland. Um, I got a company, Max Bugatti. Um, basically, uh, I'm starting my channel to, because I'm just sick of the way that um, the old concept that people have. Right now, I'm a, uh, I originally, I'm living in South America. Uh, my reasons for living there, um, I'll talk about that uh, in future videos. But for now, I just want to get over this nervousness, you know, getting myself on camera uh, for the first time. Uh, basically, um, I'm in Concord, California. I'm, I'm a military veteran. Um, disabled, but um, I'm using the Vogue Rehab Program, which is for San Francisco. Uh, you can't top it. It's even better than uh, New York City. Basically, my strategy is on helping people, whether you're single, uh, you have a family, basically um, helping people to find a better way and not be so stressed out week to week, month to month. So basically my formula, what I do is my income that I get, this is philosophy and I have a 10 year old son and a wife that I'm teaching now on how to do this. But basically I got a, uh, my income comes in, any income I get, I'll take 30% out of it automatically, no matter what the bills are, uh, no matter what I got to pay, no matter what kind of stress. Always pay yourself first. That's rule number one. Pay yourself first. And then with the 30%, you take 10% of that. Out of the 30, you take the first 10. That's going to be your uh, savings account. The second 10, which is going to be 20, is going to be your emergency account. And then your third account, which I'm going to talk about, and what I'm big on and what I've learned is your investment account. And my investment account for now is stocks. So a lot of people, what they do, they'll probably, if they get paid 30%, they'll put all their whole 30% into stocks. I think that's the, the to, balance your, to balance your portfolio, it's better for you to have, uh, invest 10% of your income. Because the way the market is, but once you understand the market, the way people invest in the stock market, is they have this concept, this old concept of buy these known five growth buy company buy growth companies, which okay check this out which they chase the I call it tracing the dragon, so basically they're just going they're they're on the roller coaster ride, you know whether they're with Amazon, uh, Apple, all these growth stocks they put all their money into the into these stocks, they're taking it out, but they're buying, or they're selling, they're buying. So this strategy to me, it, it, it's gonna cause you more stress in the end, you know. Um, my philosophy is just buy, buy a company. Just buy, look at companies that they're gonna last through good times and bad times. It's, it's sort of like, like how I was a kid, I used to collect uh, baseball cards. So me collecting baseball cards, um, I kind of look at buying companies in the same aspect. So to me, I just got to get that inner child back in me going again because I've, I've noticed all my friends, all, all my families, they pretty much then went off went off into the deep end and they're not coming back. So <laughs> um, my thing is the I'm more more focused on on the global on global stocks. So uh, my channel is going to be dedicated to global stocks but in the same in the same on the same note i also into into health i'm just getting back from the gym now i usually walk to the gym walk back so i'm gonna start doing these youtube uh videos to and from to get myself get myself away from this camera shyness and speaking to speaking to the camera but letting you guys know like how to come up oh and another thing too is get rid of your car and the money okay for me 
uh, I would say like my expenses on a car nowadays, even from a uh, used car secondhand, because uh, I wouldn't buy brand new. Um, I was thinking about buying uh, used, but um, I went ahead and uh, looked at the numbers, and basically, I'll probably be around six hundred bucks. Six hundred. I'm, I'm in. I'm in the state of California, so it's bananas out here. You got to. Um, I just moved out here to network uh, to see how the tech business is because you know we're the number one. Uh, our stocks in the world, what we produce in the world, are stocks. So, um, I had to come to California. It's been a dream since I was a kid. So if I, I'm finally out here. I'm just well, I'm just walking the street that I live on. Um, oh yeah, and another thing too to survive. Um, this is a dead end. Okay, I'm gonna walk back up because uh, I'm getting used to. Uh, <laughs> It's beautiful out here, as you can. Oh man, I, I love California. But um, my thing is, um, I it's just about it's about strategies. Okay, with the car with the car situation, I figured I use Bart since I'm a veteran, so I get discounts on Bart. So I'm spending and I, and I go to the to the city. So I go to the city to tomorrow, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Those are my class days. And then for, for me going to class, uh, my program pays me uh, basic housing allowance for the state of California, which is approximately about $4,300. $4, and what I do with that, I invest. I'm in South America. I have property in South America. What I'm going to do is build. I've got property on a lake. So now I just have land. So the money I make here, I'm going to build up uh, my house on the lake. And with that property being built, it's going to quibble out. Huh? Once I get it built right now, just land itself, it's about 100000 100, So 100000 just for the land. And I was just thinking, okay, if I start building on it and building, I can increase the value of it because it's on a lakefront. Enough of that. Okay, what I'm, what I'm talking about is uh, this car situation that people... Like I, I even I even went to a bunch of job I go to a job interview once a month just to see how people are, just to see like getting feedback from my business attire, the way I speak. You know, it's just practice. It, you know, take the rejections. You know, the rejections are good because they re refine you to become better. So I went to a a, a job interview at a high definition solar. So I went to I went there, everything was good. I mean Everything was like flying colors, but the thing that got me was they were saying I needed a car, and I told and I told the interview I was like I'm not getting a car. I'm like the way my budget is now in um, California, like uh, that's just some stress that I'm not living with. So, you know, I thank them, you know, for the opportunity and whatnot. But I was just surprised to see that um, you had to have a car here you know, to get a job, you know, and, and nowadays they have Uber and you know, have BART, but I guess they're dealing with a y lot of younger generation people that are not good on time, but I guess he didn't know, you know, I, I, well, he saw I was military, but I guess they take that for granted because I'm punctual with my time. So um, the thing about uh, Uber is, oh, it's, it's Uber that I take and I, I get laughed at out here. People laugh at me. I, I walk to the gym. People are laughing at me at the gym. They drive a beamers. They have these nice, big-ass fucking trucks. They just look at it. They see me walking in, walking out, you know, day, day in and day out. But I'm so joyful inside. It, it's, it's a joy that, that um, oh, my God. I can't even, it, it, it's, a, it's like the stress. You don't have to. Oh man, it, it, people don't understand. Uh, uh, monthly, what I spend, if I even go all out on transportation here in California, between uh, Uber and BART, $200. $200 a month. Just think, and then the other $400 that I, just think about if I had a car, $600. So the other $400, I'm splitting that into three, by 30% and putting it in my three accounts. 
you know, before I was taking that four hundred dollars and just put it straight into my stock stock uh stock portfolio. But what I've learned now is to have these three accounts. And then later on, I'm now I've opened up like five different other accounts because I'm in the uh, in the process of opening up opening up a, a trucking business. And I learned that you have to have five accounts. Um, oh, shout out to uh, Glenn and Cameron um, and Erica Williams. These two uh, YouTubers have helped me from oh man, since I started I started watching them when I was in South America when I was trying to. Get my uh, recon the area in South America. Get get to know the system, the culture. Get my family's out there. Uh, get my apartment. Oh, I get back to housing. My apartment that I pay in South America is three hundred dollars. It's gated. The the there's a mall across the street. When I when I fly back to Colombia in December, I usually take I see. And one thing about my strategy, I take breaks from America. A lot of people are like looking at me like I'm crazy. Like I take Uber and Bart, I'm crazy. I take December, January off. Those are slow months. I come back for for February. February. Hey, I'm I'm just walking. Okay, my YouTube. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, that was my. Uh, my roommate where I'm renting from. Oh, check this out. See, I'm I'm in Cali, Killer Cali, West Side. Um, um, damn, this is crazy. First day doing my YouTube, but um, <laughs> Killer Cali. Um, I, 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 yeah. Once I go on, I'm gonna tell you guys all about like my lifestyle here. And, um, oh, I'm big on uh on the marijuana. That's another reason why I came here. I'm from Georgia, repping that A, A town baby. I'm still, I'm still about that A all day, um, but I had to come out here to Cali to floss my, floss my talents because I just, I, w- I wasn't, I couldn't grow anymore, and I just got tired of ducking and dodging, you know, because the, because marijuana is my medicine, you know, my creativity, my stress. I came from a real fucked up uh, childhood. I'll go into that later on. I'm not ashamed of nothing. Uh, I, I'll talk about me um, uh, survive, uh, flipping the Kardashian curse. I have four sisters and a mother. I'll tell you guys how I survived that and became, oh my gosh. Uh, that's a whole nother story right there with the, uh, with the sisters and mom. Pops, I mean, he did what he did, but he was always ghost. So he really, I really learned a lot from him from, you know, a younger age, just always, you know, running from things and shit like that. But now, you know, now that I'm older, um, now that I'm older, I kind of learned, like, I face everything, everything. The fear, because this fear comes up, everything. Like, coming here was a fear. I faced it, you know, now I'm less, I'm just like, okay, face the fears. Face them, face them uh, straight up. But um, I just want to just give you guys this rough, um, Oh my my thing with um, rent here, a lot of a lot of veterans that I know and people that I know, they're paying minimum sixteen to eighteen hundred a month. Damn, I found a place for six hundred dollars on Let Go, Let Go, and there's a Facebook Marketplace that I'm using. Um, I'll go into that later, but uh, I'm just paying. So think about it, I'm paying six hundred dollars for rent here. I got my family in in Colombia, three hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't mention it's a gated community. Uh, it's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's got a swimming pool. It's got security guards. It's got security camera, and the mall is right across the street. And it's got a little park right there. I mean, and to the Cali Cali airport is about uh, roughly fifteen minutes. So as soon as I come out of the apartment, boom, I'm already on the main strip, right uh, hitting the highway to the airport. So I'm right there. I'm not nowhere congested in the city. I'll get into that later. I'll show you guys um, how I'm living out there in, in, in Colombia. But my thing is now, like, it's like I'm living. Oh, shout out to the millennium. millennium. Shit, I need. Um, Cause I've been a millennium. I started at millennium. People are like, yo, these are millennium. Millennium started in 
83, 84, when Nintendo came out, when Super Mario Brothers, or even before that, we used to rock the Atari. So all these these millennial, whatever they call us, I was I was born in 1978. So we came up with video games. Internet was just coming out, you know, dibbling and dabbing. But we're we're the founder. I'm the found. I come from the <laughs> the old school knocks of millennials, and I keep that to my heart because growing up, I remember my family. You know, we grew up with didn't have much. Uh, father was uh, Air Force, so we traveled. I was born in the Philippines. I've lived in uh, Arizona, Luke Air Force Base, Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. Those are the two big bases. And then my father, he um, he's from Georgia, and we live right outside of Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia, the south of Macon. So, um, so with that said, um, what else? I'm just rambling. I just I just want to get over this this fear of talking on YouTube because I have so much information up here for you guys, and I notice people are laughing at me. My 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 way of thinking is like this is like non-existent, but there is a way to wealth, and it is my, what I figured out is paying yourself first thirty percent. But I talk to a lot of people. I've been to three seminars here. And well, majority of these guys are selling uh, life insurance, but I just wanted to go to network to see what people are on because I've been out of that that realm for oh man, as long as I've been out of that realm for a minute. Um, but I'm pretty much on my main focus now is collecting companies around the world, just like baseball cards. I don't know if you guys used to have a uh, know what a Beckett is, but um, I kind of look at companies in the same way I, I did as a kid. I used to collect baseball cards, football card. I didn't do soccer. I did garbage pails, garbage pail stickers. Um, what else did I do? Um, oh, as a kid, this is my house as a kid to let you guys know. I used to, not, I, I was straight on knocking doors. I used to hang flyers for my mother for Mary Kay. Cause she didn't want to do it. Never paid me. That's another story. Um, I used to knock on people in the summer. I used to do two type of services. I used to, I I did lemonade stand. Um, I tried to get my sisters to work it, but they didn't have the discipline. So I found another better gig. I started to do, um, uh, cutting grass, knocking on people's doors, cutting grass, uh, in the fall. When the fall came, I was always trying to make money like 24-7 because uh, kids used to laugh at me going to school. I didn't have nothing. Um, it's just like motivating me more. Um, so I had, um, in the fall, I used to knock on people's doors. I see leaves. Uh, I would knock on it, ask them if they would like the leaves to be raked. Uh, if I see like sidewalks, I do that like all through. If I needed something like quick. I used to knock on people's doors and I said, hey, do you guys need, I see all this dirt and everything. I'll sweep your sidewalk for five bucks, you know, and I used to sweep it real good to get the lines out. And then, you know, I always, you know, go for the tips, but hey, if it's not, on to the next one. Um, I was just happy to get a little something for my, for my services. And then in the winter, this was, I learned all this in um, Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. And in the winter, I will shovel snow. So I did that. Um, oh, I also had a newspaper route. <laughs> I used to walk in the fucking blizzard uh, fucking delivering papers. Uh, I had a route. Um, man. Got me going back. What else? But basically, I just want to, I just want you guys to, I want you guys to let you know that um, I'm going to start doing this YouTube. Um, I just got to get more organized um i just i did my first video today just to get over my nervousness um because it's, it's hard like you know damn that first like five minutes was like holy shit but now you know you start you start going you st- your, your brain starts moving so now i'll be able to talk about my different topics organize it more but i just have so much you know to you guys to give to excel while i know it's working because I'm doing the opposite of what what everybody else is doing. So 
in you know in the in the, not in the, in the, in the short term. Yeah, it's, it'll seem hard, and you know people laughing you laughing at you, and you know me walking, and I, you know I pretty much I'm on my health now, so pretty much the walking helps me um um helps me with my health. So I mean I get into that too, but like the health and um I got my dry erase calendars. Um, I'm gonna record my my event at uh, Facebook. Um, I'm just like I said. I go to I, I go. I dress up because I want to know get feedback. But at the same time, if I come across a good opportunity, I'm taking it. You know, I just don't see like why nowadays people like they're so so thrown on on getting a job. You know, and, and it's like if you could find something where they uh, for example, I've been trying to. I've been trying to get at Facebook, you know, because uh, I just like what they do. Um, I, I use um, Facebook Marketplace. I use Facebook ads for my st- stock investment uh, company, teaching people to get over their fears and invest in the market. So now my, I'm just, I got to think of a way to help people get over that fear. And, you know, the thing that I could come off come off my head right now is the the baseball card analogy, you know, it's just like buying baseball cards and knowing, instead of knowing the players and the stats, it's the same thing for a company, you know, you collect them. Right now, I own 35, 35 global companies. Um, I'm on Pinterest, Max Bugatti. Um, I'm on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, my brand is Max Bugatti. Uh, it's a stock stock investment company, and also I'm in the the process of get owning a truck, a semi truck. So, oh, the thing about the semi truck business, um, going back to the five five bank accounts. Okay, with the five bank accounts, the way I got is like I got five different accounts, or six with. Now I put in a marketing account, so now I got a marketing account with that would be six. So then I have the truck note, truck insurance, diesel, maintenance, tires, and then what's it, emergency. So those six accounts will cover my my truck if anything happens. Basically, I funnel in my main account uh, with seventy percent, and then between the the six the six account the six accounts that I got. Um, I'll funnel in uh, the 30%. I'll, I'll split that into six, and it'll go in, into those accounts uh, each month or uh, each time I get paid. So, um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. Um, uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to, you know, I, I got a lot. I, I'm coming from the gym. I'm kind of excited because I uh, finally got over this. Uh, nervousness that, you know, this fear that I'm going to be explaining to people how how to get over. And uh, I also have, uh, I'm working on a uh, confidence building course. Um, so, yeah. So, yo, check me out. I'll see you guys in the next one.